What's up guys, JDog back here again and we're back with the tutorial. This time we're going to be checking out with Freenome um, how we can fix the problem if it's, if it's saying that the domain isn't available. So let's just go ahead and search for a domain called bar blue and we're going to check availability. So let's go ahead and press bar blue.dk. As you can see it's coming up not available although it was showing as available already. There is a very simple fix for this. Just go ahead to the search bar and we're going to search for bar blue. This time we're going to be doing it with the correct ending that we wanted to choose. So bar blue.tk. Now we're going to go ahead and check availability. As you can see, we now have it selected and we can go ahead straight to check out with our new domain. Simply select the period that you want it for and go ahead and continue. Simply choose one of your socials or enter in your email address. Now go ahead to services and check your domain. As you can see, it is not on our list, which means we want to do that again. However, whilst we're signed in, so head back to services. We're going to go to register a domain. We're going to search barblue.tk as the whole domain again. It's selected once more and we're going to go to check out and repeat the same process again. So we're just going to choose the 12 months this time. We're going to go to continue and this time you're going to find that actually is on your list. It's going to bring you to the section where you have to agree to the terms and conditions and you're going to complete the order. So now rather than clicking on the client area which usually leads you to a broken link, just go to services and go to my domains and you're now going to find the domain there and you can manage it through the manage domain section. If you're looking to host this site you can come over to seekerhost.app for only £1 a month. You're going to be able to get yourself a hosting package and to change the name servers over we do have a much longer video which we'll leave a link for in this video however it's simply a case of changing the name servers and to find them name servers in your domain you're going to come to the management tools and then down to name servers change them over to use custom name servers to match your hosting click change name servers and you are all done so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next seek host tutorial bye bye